Hi guys, this is Holiday Inflatable Fanatic, and today I'm going to be doing a review and inflation on the 2019 Halloween Inflatable 16 foot long train. This is the Yard, Yard Inflatables exclusive version, as, as you guys can tell from it being made in 2019. This is not the original version, but still pretty cool. And there are some differences that we'll, I will uh, get to uh, in the video. But before that, let's take a look at the box. This is just the exterior box it comes with. It gets the item number, the title, the weight. And inside this is the actual, the typical, you know, white yard inflatables box. Inside is steak pack, uh, the receipt, which is a little dirty for whatever reason. And mine actually came with an extra sandbag. Don't know why, but it did. But yeah, that's everything. And here's the inflatable laid out. As you guys can tell, the colors are still great. So let's get this guy inflated and then we'll go into the details of it. Alrighty guys, so here it is, fully inflated. Just gonna let the video shoot for a couple seconds without me talking, just so you guys can see the animation. Alright, so as you guys can see, both Dracula and the ghost pop up just fine. And the conductor waves his hand back and forth just fine as well. So uh, I got very lucky because I know a lot of these were having issues with the animation. So the fact that both of them work is very, very, it's just great to hear and just great news. So let's take a close up look of it and then we'll go into the specs and details. Alrighty, let's start off with the front portion of the train, the train itself, and the conductor. Uh, this part of the train inflates very, very well. You guys can see. And even this thing, if you push it, comes right back up. That's always a good sign. I like the little monster face on the front. I think that's very creative. The fact that they use the grill and the light that's typically on the front of the train to make it look like a monster. I just thought that was very unique. Uh, the conductor looks great. Uh, he has one light bulb in his body. Uh, there are two more lights, I believe, in the front train area. I believe one right here in the green and then one right where the eye is. So you can kind of tell. Uh, I thought it came up on camera before, but you can kind of tell there's a light in there. With the conductor, the one difference, uh, this is one difference between this model and some of the uh, earlier models, some of the older ones is that the skeleton head is different. On the 2011 model, the skeleton head looked much different. It's hard to describe, but you check out uh, Chase the Inflatable God's channel. He has the 2011 version, and you can tell that this face is way different than his. But there's earlier models, I believe the 2009 model, that does utilize uh, a face design that is similar to this one, if not the exact same one. And another difference is the wheel color. On all the wheels on this particular model, the uh, print is like a dark orange. And I know for the, uh, on the 2011 model, it's like a yellowy type orange. So uh, that's another distinct um, difference between the two. So that's pretty much all I have to say about this front portion. Let's go on to the ghost cart. Alrighty, so here's the ghost cart. And it's perfect time because the ghost is popping up right now. There he is in all his glory. So I really like all the pumpkins surrounding it. It really makes this cart look very full and it brings a lot of color and just, um, I don't know, light to the piece. It's a really nice addition. It just adds a lot of character to the piece. I don't know how else to explain it. Once again, the wheels are orange. 
has this back print, which is also a very nice detail. It helps, you know, you know, just uh, cover that black area right there with something that pops and something, you know, that just stands out. I believe there are two lights in the pumpkins. One in this, this pumpkin, yeah, you can see it. And there's one in this back pumpkin. Or if it's not in this back pumpkin, it's in one in the front one. So I know there's two here. One in the tombstone and then one in the ghost itself. So this ghost is common, is used on a lot of inflatables. When I mean a lot, oh, a lot. Um, it's used on this one and all the other uh, Halloween trains that Jemmy has made. It's They've made that ghost by itself. What else did they utilize it on? They made it on... Oh gosh, why, why am I drawing a blank? I don't know why I can't think of it, but if I think of any other models they use that ghost on, I'll let you guys know. I just know that they commonly use that face design and that whole look on many other inflatables besides this one. Uh, there's two tethers on this car, one in the front and one on the back. And that's actually like that with every car. There's one in the front and the one in the back and the same with Dracula. And once again, that's pretty much all I have to say about the ghost car. Let's get on to the Dracula's coffin. The last and final car, we got Dracula. Once again, we captured him mid-motion, coming out of the cave, the, the cave, the coffin. So uh, this coffin is almost exactly the same to the coffin I have, where it's just Dracula by itself. There are some differences between that as well. Um, for example, the hair is a separate piece of fabric, and if you actually flip it all over, he looks bald, which is kind of funny. <laughs> and that is not the case on the, Dra the standalone Dracula coffin. The animation works pretty good on this one. As you guys can see, the feet inflate separately. There's two lights in the back, and there's a light within him. There you guys can see. His arm is stitched to the top of the coffin, and it helps push it up when he inflates. And he actually inflates pretty well. The only annoying thing is that his face is looking upwards for whatever reason. I wish it was more, you know, tilted tor towards us so that when he popped up, he was looking, you know, this direction rather than that way. Uh, and then once again, uh, two tethers on each side. That's pretty much it. And let's just summarize everything and then that will be the end of the video. Alrighty guys, so just a couple of things I forgot to mention. There are three zippers, actually no, five zippers. I forgot about the characters themselves. There's one at the bottom of the car right there, one right by the fan, and one inside the coffin right there. And then there are two behind the characters, one behind the ghost and one behind Dracula. In total, I believe this thing has about 11 to 12 C7s. Um, I could be offered by one or two, but it is around that that number. And yeah, it has a YEF 200 as well. I don't think I mentioned that anywhere else in the video. So it is a very strong fan, but you know, even with that YEF 200, you know, the characters pop up, but if you added another fan onto it, they could probably pop up faster and uh, you know, more the the animation would be more prominent and uh more yeah i guess more prominent i can't think of the exact word or the best word to, to use to explain what i'm trying to say but yeah it's going to be everything for this video i hope you guys enjoyed this is a very cool piece and i'm very glad they did bring it back although they made some of those minor changes um yeah, it's a definitely a childhood inflatable for me. I remember seeing it at local garden centers. And I believe you know, even one of my uh, neighbors or someone local in my town had it. And I remember loving to see it um, as a kid. So I hope you guys enjoyed. That's going to be everything for this video. Uh, stay, I hope you guys stay well and I'll see you in the next one. Bye-bye.